So Artie, I'm really excited about this year's tech trend on everything as a service. It seems to me to be a natural evolution of what we've talked about in the past around uh, core transformation and around the API economy. What's your take on it? Uh, absolutely. It's a really exciting topic from a perspective of how enterprise IT and reimagining enterprise IT is being shaped by offering business products and solutions as services. And this is not just restricted to an organizational boundary, but something that everyone in the sort of wider community can use. And what would you say are the, the, the technology, technological changes that you're seeing that have happened, over, I guess, over the last 18 months that people are really starting to adopt to help this transformation? Uh, previously, when we were talking about core transformation, it was uh, very much focused on the big ERP systems and how they're changing. Uh, and from an API economy perspective, it's all about the services. But now we're talking the full stack based on development in technologies like platform as a service. Uh, we can go a lot further in the services-based economy and uh, how the two sort of come together in terms of reimagining the delivery of IT. Now, that's not only a shift in how technology gets delivered, but it's a fundamental shift in how we conceive systems within our technology landscape. I mean, yeah. when, I, when I look at uh, my clients, it's really about how can, I, how can I make the common services, the core services, as efficient as possible to free up capital to, to spend on, on, the, on the differentiating services, if you like. Is that what you're seeing as well? Um, it's a combination of uh, differentiating services as well as um, r relieving staff from uh, tedious uh, repeatable activities through adoption of things like automation as a service. So it's a combination of exploiting automation for savings as well as uh, reinvesting in new services that are going to push the business boundaries. And as we are seeing, it's quite a big transformation for particularly IT organizations. What are the pitfalls to avoid? Having worked with a, a good few clients on their journey for uh, transforming to a services-based economy, uh, the thing that you often observe is the technology delivery is the easier bit to solve, and clients often get that right. Where people tend to drop the ball is usually around uh, adoption, making sure that businesses understand the services that are being delivered and utilizing it to push the business boundaries further. Uh, and also in terms of decommissioning the old services, uh, a lot of the business cases for these transformation deliveries are built on being able to switch off the old and often uh, that's something that gets sort of deprioritized. So just extending that, the skill sets that IT organizations are going to have to invest in to make this work? Um, you do need a lot of your existing team because they have the context of the core systems that are running within your organization. Uh, but what you do need is a lot of people with a services mindset, people that have experience delivering everything as a service, have experience to the products and tool sets in the marketplace, uh, and fundamentally think differently and look at other delivery models to deliver these services. Certainly when I work in the marketplace, a lot of the focus is on the software, the software as a service components of this story, but it's much broader than that, right? It's about, as you've talked about, the, 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 the transformational technology that's arriving in the, in the platform space, in the integration space, in the infrastructure space. And so the key to this is about how we can come up with a compelling path to link all of those things together um, and deliver this, this opportunity. Do you agree with that? Uh, absolutely. And uh, this is where uh, having your architecture right that's looking across the piece and making sure that it's not just focused on the software services, but also in terms of the platform services, which is going to enable your microservices architecture, and your infrastructure services, which is going to relieve you of the big management efforts associated with the likes of data centers, is what uh, organizations should also be focusing on. So Artie, I guess, I guess pe what people will be asking is where, where do you start? It depends on the use case, it depends on the, on the particular issue that a client is facing. So for example, if you have a, a burning platform in a core strategic system, then you might start by looking at how you could refactor that core platform, put, put a service wrap around it, and then integrate it into the broader enterprise. Another way of starting could be, actually, my core systems are relatively secure, but I want to experiment with this. I'm going to start with some boundary systems and some, some less critical systems and, and build up experience in, in, in uh, API management, in building services before I then extend into the more critical systems. What are your thoughts on that? Uh, your priority is driven very much by your business direction 
as well as your burning platforms. And uh, the two put together is what's going to drive which cases, use cases you're going to trial out first. So Artie, I'm also fascinated by another one of our trends, uh, inevitable architecture. Uh, certainly I am seeing a massive uptake at the moment in consumption of public cloud and private cloud services. Um, how do you see the linkage between inevitable architecture and what we're talking about here in everything as a service? Uh, everything as a service is a natural extension of inevitable architecture. We were talking about uh, dealing with everything as a service and the conceptualization of the service across the entire stack, not just the applications. And that's essentially what inevitable architecture is uh, talking about. It's being able to scale up or scale down based on uh, needs that are driven by either the market or business conditions. So Arty, I think what we're saying in summary is that we ha what we have here is a convergence of some great conceptual thinking with some pretty new technology that together is going to fundamentally change the way in which technology transformation happens. Absolutely. Exciting times ahead for all technologists.